think we got another one.
We got there from so we can keep doing that. What's up, y'all? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first of all, I need you to know that we're trying out a new microphone tonight, and we need to so, know how it sounds. We need to know so y'all if need it's to be good. telling us yes. whether or not it's actually good. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's say good evening to everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. 
And I didn't see Primo last Sup, week. Sup, Shell? I don't Primo, know what that where means. were you? You know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel like Primo it was, was two weeks in a row. was a topic, and you were not here. Yeah, like, I don't, what's know, up I don't with know what's up with that. What you know up, what Sobs? We I'm have to tell you the story stuff. as to why. Yeah, because Sobs are talking about why I'm not here before April. There is a reason for that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, yes. and we were not uh, Sounds good? Oh, good, okay, good. good. Awesome. Okay, great. Good. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's Kevin hey, Thomas. What up, Kevin? What up, Kevin? <laughs> good to see you, man. Hey, Denise. Good evening, Denise. What's up, Elaine? What up, Elaine? We're excited to have you guys on again tonight, as usual. Yes. And uh, he said, only miss one episode ever. Was that the one episode you missed, <laughs> That Primo? was one episode. He, that was the first episode he's missed. That's what I want. But maybe he was there. He was just not commenting. Okay, last no, week. All right. He's, he's, he's not so here. what was your problem last week, man? Don't be getting all in his business. No, I want to know. He don't want to you know tell nobody. <laughs> I'm hoping it was something real. You know what I'm saying? And Saba says she's offended because that she doesn't have top fan status. What What does that mean? Why wouldn't you have top fan what status? What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I'm Primo, Primo was sleep. sleeping. That's probably it. Probably is what happened, Cynthia. He's probably knocked he out. He's probably you know sleeping. You are right. <laughs> oh man. Okay, guys. So we were late, as you can see. We started the ten minute countdown at eight fifty, like we we're supposed to, but we we're in the and middle John of something. John ran up from the table because we were. What, closing on a refi? Exactly. For the house, right? So so this dude So first of all, he was supposed to be here at six o'clock, y'all. First of all, it was supposed to happen yesterday. It was supposed to happen yes it was supposed to happen yesterday. And yes, it was <sighs> it was yesterday at six. Right. And then he postponed it to eight. And then he kept texting saying the paperwork wasn't ready or something, so he didn't right. show up. So then he says, We say, Okay, six o'clock tonight. Then he texts again and say, Eight o'clock. So we're like, Cool, that'll be enough time. Then he says ETA eight twenty. He don't get here till eight twenty five. Right. Then when he comes, he comes to the door with no mask on, y'all. <laughs> it's COVID. <laughs> no mask. So I hold up my mask and I'm like, uh. He, he was like, like, can I come in? They was like, I was you like, got a no. Mask? <laughs> I held up my mask. I'm like, I was like, listen, let me get you a mask. Stay outside, please. Like, right. <laughs> so I got to get this man a mask. He comes in and he says nothing. He just hands all, the paperwork. All, like we've doesn't done say, this, we've done this a million times. Okay, we've done, we done bought so houses, we've done, done refis, whatever. This guy would he wouldn't explain that. You know, normally they tell you yeah, sign they tell here. This is what this is for. What is. Something like that. He said nothing until we like nothing. asked, like, what does this mean or whatever. Yeah, I'm asking questions and stuff. The yeah, only reason crazy. why we knew is because we've done this before. Right. That's the only reason why. And some of the papers I still have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't no know idea. What I was we're just signing our lives away. Don't know what we signed. He didn't tell us nothing, y'all. I'm like, I will be texting the people and letting them know it's hilarious, how man. this dude was. Like, I have my text message already written out, ready to press send. Oh you, oh, you didn't send it yet? I know, because I needed you to look at it first. You should read it with the chimes right now. We scheduled our closing for 6 o'clock. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. tonight. Wait, is there a way to do this while you, like, is there a way to do this? 6 o'clock tonight. Can you do that in the text okay. message, though? That's what I'm going to Yes, I can, put, I can have the fingers <laughs> up. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I was like, this seemed very unprofessional. Exactly. He didn't even have a mask. Exactly. He did not even tell us what the point. Like, I went in, you know? <laughs> and I was like, I think we need to get a little money for this, you know? I'm saying, man. I got to get something for this job. <laughs> My goodness. Should I press in? Let me I'll, see wait, that. I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll talk it's about it. No, in. no, we'll talk. We need to pray over that. Okay. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, right, so sorry about that, but uh, we are here. Okay, so... so oh, um, I like that, O'Brien. Thank you. Saba says she missed the first episode. She missed a few episodes uh, that she still hasn't seen. Okay. Uh, O'Brien says, sounds great. It's more of a casual sound like you're in a room and not in a ah, studio sound. Right. We so, might need to buy this mic then. Yeah. We're, we're just trying we're, we're it out. We're borrowing a friend's mic right yeah, now. Yeah, we're trying it out. Primo saying he was on vacation and out to dinner with friends. Oh, nice. Also, you needed you got, that, Primo. You probably did. More than likely, except... Were you guys socially distanced? That's the question. <laughs> That's why he's giving us that, that, that smile. <laughs> okay, so so this is what Saba said. Prebo's name in the comments has top fan label from Facebook. I'm not ah. offended by y'all. It's Mark Zuckerberg's ah. fault. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, nice. So I guess to get that, uh, so I want to know who else has it. Does anybody else's... See, I can't, I can't see top fan here because we're getting it through Ecamm. But does anybody else have a top fan label next to their Horace name? Horace and Jocelyn should have a top fan. I feel like Horace should have fan. one because they don't miss any. They should. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming. So I just want to know who else. You know who else, who else has it? Pretty much, uh, I hope I never get April Nixon mad for real. Oh nah, you don't want to be on April's bad side. I am not. Like, no, don't do that. Don't make me sound like I'm like that. Philip Baptiste, this is a deity mic. It is called uh, a D3, I think. D it's made by deity. And it's a D3. Um, <laughs> Shell until my primo paid extra. Yeah, maybe he did. 
Egg, you got one too? Oh, nice. This is wow. so cool, guys. How does Egg have one, but Saba doesn't? I gotta look that up. And, and Saba says she doesn't see any but Primo right now. Okay. But, but Saba, tell us the truth. Is Egu telling the truth? Does he actually have uh, the top fan status? That's what I want to know. All right, y'all. So, oh, my mom, my mom is texting me. My mom said, your live doesn't come on till 9 CST. I thought it was 9 EST. <laughs> it's on now, <laughs> ma. <laughs> anyway, okay. so, uh, oh, he says, no, but I should. See, Johnson okay. said, we thought we had one, but it's not showing by our names like Primo. That's interesting. That is interesting. I got to look into that. That's yeah, I got to figure out how cool. you can get one of those. All right, y'all. So tonight we have a fun topic. It, it, all, the, all the topics are fun, in my yes. opinion. Yes. Do you have the question up? I'm about to have, yeah, of okay. course. I got it right. right here. Now, the funny thing is, though, this changed while I was going downstairs. So let me see if it gives me the right one. It doesn't. I hate that. So I got to go like this. Um, this one. Okay. All right. So here is our question for tonight. All right. Here it is. John and April. I'm not the jealous type, but I recently saw some posts that my husband liked of some very attractive women. Mm. I didn't say anything to him, but it made me feel some type of way. Mm. Am I tripping? So let, let me start by just <laughs> saying, um, men don't do it. Just, just, <laughs> just don't do it, man. Because it, it's not worth it, man. And especially, you know, you're on, your stuff is public. Everybody can see it. You know your wife's going to see it. And let me tell you something. This is, this is what we noticed, uh, April and I noticed recently, mm -hmm. is that anything that April looks at on Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. automatically mm -hmm. goes to the top of my feed and vice versa with her. So usually what happens is we're sitting in the bed and she'll be like, hey, have you seen this? And I'll be like, yeah, I saw that earlier. I said, I think they're showing you that because I liked it. Right. And vice versa. It knows we're top friends or married, whatever whatever our status is, however they know mm -hmm. with the algorithm. And so I think it knows automatically to send her certain things that I like and send me certain things that she likes. So if you're liking another woman's stuff, your wife going to see it. If, if the algorithm knows that you're married, right. you know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. Right. So that was dumb, number one. But I, I, I kind of want to know from you whether or not you feel... <laughs> <laughs> What? Saba said people always forget that the, their likes are being tracked. Exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. They're being tracked. And, 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 and the people that are, the, I think the way the algorithm basically works is the people that are closest to you are automatically going to get fed the same stuff that you like because mm -hmm. the algorithm knows mm -hmm. the people you roll with are going to probably like this too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anyway. I, Brian, talking about plead the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, my Edgar thing says, is, stop liking women on IG. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm That's just what I'm saying. saying. But, but I, okay, I don't but, think but, that. Okay, go but ahead. before you give me any anything, what up, Kay Williams? Here's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. People talking about, please don't lean forward in the camera; it's blinding. <laughs> you talking about, you're talking about uh, my baldy man? <laughs> okay, here, here's what I want to know, April. I want to know from you. Well, first of all, let me just ask you: Do you have any issue with the way? And I've never asked you this before. You can answer here on live. I'm confident about the answer. Do you have any issue with the way that I do social media? Do, do you feel like my social media etiquette needs to be improved just in terms of being a married man? Yes, because... No, I'm oh just kidding. Goodness. You're so <laughs> fake. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay. No, I do not. All right, number one. Now, number two. Do you think that mine needs to be? No, no way. Okay. Absolutely not. You, you don't know, have any issues at all. It's both ways here. Let's I agree. not try to act like it's just me. I've never had any okay. problem with the way that you do social media. It doesn't bother me at all. Okay. Well, there was one time when I wanted you to post something and you didn't, but that was years ago. It doesn't matter. The point is, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that here before. We I did. Think too. We did. Um, but, but my question to you is, uh, how do you feel about this? Do you think, right off the top, do you think this wife is tripping? You know, I don't. If, you know, it, it's like if he is liking posts of women who are putting pictures up there that are little, I think Saba said that, Where? you know, right here about, you know, oh, models. I don't think it's a matter of liking women on IG as much as it is about the IG models and the more risque stuff. Right. I, I would agree you with know, that. You know, like if somebody comes up, even if it's just a regular person, but, you know, their cleavage is out mm -hmm. and you're like, like, mm -hmm. that might make a woman feel like, whoa, why is he liking that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think she's tripping depending on what it is. Now, if he's liking like his his ex's stuff, she might not like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I wouldn't care if you liked your ex's, you know, post. I wouldn't care about that. Hold on. You like your ex's post all the time. I know. You know, it means nothing. <laughs> I do. 
<laughs> Who cares? Because, yeah, I mean, uh, like, honestly, he's honestly, married and say, got kids. I'd be like, oh, your family's so beautiful. And we're friends know? with them. Exactly. And so, so it's really no problem. So I don't think that's an issue unless there's something there. But, you know what I mean? But let me just say this, though. If your ex was ripped, like, if your ex all of a sudden now was like a... Uh, you know, one of these, you know, they have these guys on IG who are bodybuilders mm -hmm. and stuff and they always got this stuff, mm -hmm. whatever. If he was like that, I don't think I would ever doubt that you liked him or anything, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't feel comfortable with you liking his post if he had his shirt off and he was ripped because I'd be wondering what other people were thinking about my wife liking that guy's uh, post. You see what okay, I'm saying? Okay. That, I think that might be a problem for yeah, me. Yeah, and Denise said it right there. It creates insecurities. And she said both ways. Ways. It does. Yeah. It does. You're right. Yeah, I agree with that. So, 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 so I really want to know whether or not this... You said this lady's not tripping. Mm -hmm. But give me a scenario where you think she is tripping. Like... Okay, she did not say that these are IG models. No, she just she said didn't. these were attractive women. Now, yeah. it's possible that these are women that they know. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they're not risque pictures necessarily. Right. They're just women that are attractive. Mm -hmm. And it maybe makes her feel some kind of way. Is yeah. there a scenario in which you would say to her, I think you are tripping? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're if he's just liking posts of people he knows. Like, let's say he, he knows these women. And they're right? cute. And they happen to be beautiful women, right. and he likes the post, mm -hmm. and you're tripping about that. I don't know. I think that's. I, I don't think you should be. I, I think that's a little much. I okay. think you would be tripping in that case. Okay. But I think the only way you wouldn't be tripping if you if you have a reason to not trust him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like yes. if he's not somebody you can trust because of your experience as a couple, mm -hmm. and he's liking the other women's post, you know, you might get jealous about that because. You know, he's been out doing stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's yeah. when I would say she's not she's not tripping. Okay, so here's the other question. If a person is trying to be in a serious relationship, let's say they're not married, they're just mm -hmm. they're just serious with each other, mm -hmm. right? They've been dating for a while, all that kind of stuff. When do you think it's appropriate? Maybe you don't think it's appropriate at all, but when do you think it's appropriate to start discussing social media etiquette with somebody you're dating. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> now, hold on. Let me, let me, let's, 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 let's go backwards. Let's start this way. And should you even bring is, that is up? So, okay. Is social media etiquette a must for married couples? Let's start there. I guess, I mean, we've never had, we have never sat down and talked about social media etiquette. We've babe, never talked about it. Babe, because when we got married, there was no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got married on Instagram. I'm talking there about. No Facebook, it doesn't matter. Once it, it does came, matter. It doesn't because once it came up, we didn't say, "Hey, by the way, you know, I see how this goes. If I don't want one, you liking." If either one of us was having a problem in this area, we would definitely bring it up. The issue is right now we're not having a problem. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's the, that's what my point is. My point is that's when it comes up. To okay. me, you only discuss social media etiquette, etiquette when you have to. So you don't think don't that think the you don't think that the modern married couple would necessarily always have to have that conversation. No. You, th you think basically as long as things are okay, it's fine. Yeah. But, but, but if there's some I, problem, I, then you if have. you sat down with me and like, I think we should have a social media etiquette discussion, I'd be like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially if nothing's happening. Like, I don't feel like that's something that you need to sit down and discuss unless something happens. Yes. And okay. maybe, maybe for some people that needs to be discussed beforehand so that nothing will happen because you know it's a potential something. All right. So let me, but, ask, you, let me ask you a different question then now. If I'm in a relationship, because you, you just sounded like maybe that's not even a conversation you have to have when you're dating somebody. I, listen, if, I, if I'm dating somebody and the guy says, hey, I think we need to have a social media etiquette, I would, that would turn me off. Only because it's like, why? Like, it would make you feel like, like they're, insecure? they're paranoid, they're insecure. Mm. Like, why are you even thinking about that right now? Like, what? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think I would, that would actually make me be like, mm, he might be a little bit too controlling mm -hmm. or has insecurities there mm -hmm. that he's letting me know he has because he wants to have this conversation mm -hmm. while we're dating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I, I wouldn't like that. I just reset the room. Which is, of course, a clubhouse term. But this, just so that for people that came on late. So, so let me, Hi, let, mommy. Me, let me, where mama's on there? Oh, hey, mama. <clears throat> okay, so, so, so let, let's go back a little bit just to see what some people are saying here because I think this is important. Yeah, because we've got some rules. Saba says she's tripping. Yeah, I, I think Saba that, just says she's tripping. So you think she's tripping? Period. Sheldon says it, it, it is the consistency of the liking. Mm, oh, that's true. <laughs> but, 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 but what I does that mean? Because that. I'm saying if I'm liking all the time. 
and I never show any signs that I'm unfaithful to my wife or whatever, then maybe it's just, I like the pictures. It's no big deal. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, or, or that's a friend or, I mean. Tony said, ooh, child, can't like a fine ex stuff. Nope, thirst traps. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, Sama says, you know what married couples often forget to is that there uh, is a, a very, very different, different code of, of conduct, conduct among single people okay. about what likes amount to. Married people who are older don't understand that liking three photos is pretty much a booty call. Whoa. That's, that's, that's a good point. Whoa. There is a different etiquette there. That's and, true. And if you are a married person who understands this and is actually searching for your next booty call, or if you're not and you don't want to give that impression, you might be messing up by, by liking somebody's maybe, you know, three maybe. of their pictures, like like sock, stalking them. Right, right. Okay, so Jared said, not married, laugh a lot, but I think it is necessary to think about protecting how things look for your spouse. So Jared, I'd be curious to know from you, um, because I know you're single, if you were dating somebody, and if you want to drop that news here, that's fine too. Um, if you are dating somebody <laughs> and she brings up a conversation about social media etiquette, does that make you think something's going on? Do you do you think she's insecure? Um, does that turn you off in some kind of way? Do you have conversations with your girlfriend or whatever about social media etiquette? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Who says rule number one? Block your eyes. No, block your exes. Oh, exes. <laughs> really? You gotta block your exes? Block them. Nah, nah, we, we ain't block our nah, exes. That's, we cool with our exes. I'm just saying, it depends. I think it depends. Am says on, the type yeah. of ex matters. Exactly. Ex lovers insert body roles uh, <laughs> need to be blocked. Okay. Yeah, I okay, agree with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is for them, not you. Okay. Yeah, that sounds more like an insecurity issue in your relationship. Mm -hmm, Maybe it mm -hmm. is. I don't know. Yeah. That then Wu says rule number two: never like a picture of a woman that is by themselves. They must have a small <laughs> child in the picture. Really. <laughs> with that. <sighs> I so, don't agree with that. Jerry says, if you're out here liking other women men's posts, but you are not giving your husband and wife the same energy and more, then that's a problem. Mm. I agree. Mm. I agree. Yeah. That's where it really becomes an issue. And that's where I think mm -hmm, there's the potential mm -hmm. for an actual issue with us feeling like insecure is that I'm constantly on my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly yeah. liking uh, pretty girls uh, uh, posts. Post. Yeah. And then me and you aren't really talking. Right. I'm fubbing, I'm, I'm fubbing you every night in the bed. You exactly. trying to talk to me. I'm, I'm on my Instagram. You know, right, so right. That, liking that liking all problem. these people. David Gums apparently oh. is, a top, is a top fan too. Okay, David. He said you don't even know how to happen. He said no clue how, okay. but he feels special. <laughs> we, we, we do we have, too. Yeah, we feel we do too. I, I, I feel special that there's even no, a top fan designation for anybody. Seriously. I know it's a thing. Exactly. Okay, so Primo says social media etiquette should mirror in-person etiquette. If a good looking girl walks by and I shouldn't ah. turn and stare in front of my girl, then, then I, I should... should there and like on social media. Okay. What do you think about that? I do mean, you think do you think it's the same? I don't think it's the same. I don't either. I don't. And I, I guess I want to disagree okay, with you. So though. this is what I'll say. I want to disagree with you for the end, but I can't. Okay, this is what I would say. I would say if you are liking pictures of girls who are by themselves, like Egu said, mm -hmm. if they're by themselves and they don't have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> in they're their fine. Arms, right. They're fine. Uh -huh. And you don't know them and mm -hmm. you're liking their posts. And there's no, there's no, there's like, now if they say something that is, you know, you know, they I, say something that's know, powerful. I, I'm, or, I'm so glad that I overcame cancer exactly. today. Exactly. So something like that. <laughs> yeah, then you can like, say, God yeah, is good. yeah, 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 you, you yeah, like yeah. that. You can like but that. if there's no, you know, they haven't written anything. It just says no and caption picture, needed or something like no that. No caption needed. Or I woke up like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah, you know yeah, how yeah, people yeah. do that. <laughs> Why are you rolling your eyes? I'm just saying. I hate those anyway. I know you do. But, and you like it. Then I would be like, he don't even know her. Right. What's he liking? Right. You know, so I think I would kind of question that. Yes. Like, I, and I think you would too. If I'm just liking some guy's post, I don't know him, you don't know him, mm -hmm. and I'm just liking some guy's post, mm -hmm. that would be, to me, that would be more like looking at somebody mm -hmm. when you're out. Yeah. You know? See, I don't, I don't feel like, I, I, I guess what I'm thinking is, I don't feel like it's the same for me to not, I, I can't get that right, babe. I, I, I don't think it's the same for me if I stare at somebody in real life for me to like something on. But but maybe it is similar. Maybe it is because you never know how long I look no, at that I picture think that before is I similar. click it. I, I think that is similar if you don't know the person. Right. If you know the person and they have a nice picture, you're clicking like because you know them and that was a nice picture. Right. I mean, I do that all the time. Right. So you know I. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, right. But I will say that if I have some friends or people are on there and they're posting pictures where they're showing serious body parts like often i will i will not follow them so, anymore okay so let, let me just say this because that, i don't even we, want that on my feed 
You yeah. Know, you want to take out the Zoom so you can get your light? No, okay. I don't care about that. Okay, so rule number three, according to Egu, okay. tell your wife within 24 hours of a wild DM. Ask her for help if needed. I, I've done that. Yes, I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, one. I yeah, agree. Definitely. Okay, so Shay says, what up, Shay? What's up? <laughs> I think it's different for the generation of today. There are some who are stuck on their devices and on social media so much that it affects their relationships. I agree. Right. No, and we, I we agree definitely with you feel on like that. that's a thing. That is a thing. So, so there are some rules that I think would be a good idea to have in your relationship that's what I'm in saying. those situations. If it's an issue, you yeah. need to discuss that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um,. What if your what if it's your boy's business photo? Are, okay, are you asking what if your wife likes your boy's business photo? Is that what you're asking? I <laughs> mean, I, Hannah Naya? I think that should be hey. that, should, that should be fine, Hannah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you mad that your wife is doing that? Is that what that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, so I know, Elton, I know, no, no. Let's go back to that because I see what he's saying. What is he saying? Like it's not some sexy photo. It's the he's you know. Then, then you should be secure enough. Photo. You should be secure enough to, that your no, wife should be able to. Um, no, but he's saying that it may be you know it's his business photo. He's got a suit. He's looking dapper, and maybe she is liking it because he uh, looks good in that kind of way. I see. You know. I, the, I mean. To me, that shouldn't be that deep. It shouldn't. In my opinion, I, you I, should I be have able. To agree with Saba. You, you should tripping. be able to. Yeah, you, you should tripping. be able to like my friends business photo. I agree. That should not be a problem. Agree. You know no. what I'm saying? All right, so Elton says, would it be different if the husband was a photographer? That's a good question. What do you mean? Okay, so we have a friend. Ah, we have oh, a I friend get it. I get it. who takes photos. He takes a lot of photos and he takes photos of different kind of situations. Some, and we only know about it because he took some photos for us. He sent us to his Instagram page so we could see his so work. So you're saying... And there was a lot of stuff on there that wasn't necessarily kosher. Right. And I liked them all. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and, I, and I feel like yeah, in that situation, it, was about it might be a pass. Liking, it was about me liking his that photo, That was the point. You were liking his photo exactly. ability really is what was happening there. Right. And I, and I think I understood that. It really, really, there wasn't any insecurity or at, at all. For, no. There was no issue there. No, no, no. But yeah, but yeah, that's, that is something. But I think being secure in your relationship is really the whole point. That is I the point. I think that... You know, when there's insecurities there, you're going to question all those likes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it's women that look good mm -hmm. or men that look good, you're going to mm -hmm. question that because mm -hmm. there's insecurities there. Let me go down and just see how many I miss. I don't think that's that's. That I want to see rule number five. Have we gotten a four? No, we have not okay. yet. Okay. Egg, Egg keeps dropping rules. Okay. Right. Rule, now, Cynthia says she may be insecure and her husband may not give her the same attention he's, he's passing, passing on, on social, social media. media. Yeah. yeah. Which, is, which is really the issue. Exactly. That's the real problem. Right. All right. Here's Egg rule number four. You must friend both people in a relationship. If you friend only the opposite sex person, you might be, it might be funny business. So, so are you saying mm. like, like, like if I friend you, I also need to friend, Sa sorry, if I friend Saba, I also need to friend you. Is that what you're basically saying? Because you guys are I married, so saying. I think that's a good rule. Yeah, but what I, if I don't know the other person? I don't know, but Sheldon says ex lovers need to stay on MySpace <laughs> <laughs> and, and high five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ed says, "Man, I ain't looking nothing left aloud. I don't know who is in in it, small I don't child see or who's not." In it. So, oh, right. Oh, I don't care who's in. I don't IDC. care who's in a small child. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, this is what this is what Jared said. Well, honestly, I would want to hear her reasoning. These subjects don't come up out of the blue. What happened? What bothers you about what I'm like? Well, that's very astute of you, uh, Jared. You're right. And I but think see, that's what I'm saying. But I think Jared, would, I think just... Jared would get points with her for pointing out that this doesn't just come out of the blue. She would say, right. "Wow, he's seeing deeper into me." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget about the comments on the posts. Exactly. Ah, now that's what we're gonna go to next. Yes, because comments be a big a deal. We're gonna you know talk about it in a second, Denise, because you're right. Keisha says, I believe it boils down to motives and trust within your relationship. I agree, mm -hmm. definitely. That's what I'm saying. Kevin yeah. says, yes, April, stay away from liking females constantly <laughs> except for people you and your wife knows. Right. I, you I, know, I think that's a safe place to be. It is. If, if it's you and your spouse who both are friends with this person, then you probably are okay that's doing that. That's my point. And if, if it's somebody you don't know, right. and here you are liking this girl, and yeah. you don't know her, right. that's, like, that's kind of like, yeah. yeah. And like especially if she's her. not making any comments, she's not posting anything where she's saying something right. deep. Like I can't, I cure cancer. Or exactly. Or like that. <laughs> Rule number five, never friend any women named Michelle, Bridget, or Tanya. Just tr trust me. Don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Now, now you're just making up stuff because you know we're reading your rules on the air. Um, so what about double, stand, double standard of women liking Cardi B pic mm. versus a man liking a pic of Michael B. Jordan? I wonder what he, what are you saying, David? I mean, if the man is liking a male's pic straight. and the, if the woman's liking a woman's <laughs> pic, straight. you know what I'm saying? I don't know how this is a problem. Now, now, I will say, though, that 
there are certain people who stand for certain things that may be of the ah. same sex as April. That if I saw that she liked it, I would say, babe, why would you like that? Everybody's going to see you like that. So there are some things that I think don't necessarily, aren't necessarily um, congruent with what April believes or who she stands for. Yeah, or what but she it is. could be that that person like Cardi B may have said something. I'm like, yeah, I like that. Right. Even right. though I might now, not like everything she now, says. Now, but you know, I ain't gonna have no problem with you liking Cardi B. I know. Okay. I know just that. So you know. I'm just saying. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah. And I, yeah. So, 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 Ambry said there's a double standard here. Women can get away with liking pics more so than men. I, I think that's I true. Agree. But, You're but right. I agree. But I think that's because, by and large, men are known for, for leading with their eyes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we see stuff and that makes us feel a certain way or whatever. Right. And it's not always like that with women, or at least not stereotypically. Right, So right. it's probably no problem. I think there's also a generational dynamic at play here. Mm -hmm. The way my sons, early 20s, use social media is very different from how I use it. That, that is true. That is very true. Um, they have a totally different etiquette and mode of operating online. That, that is, is true. very true. I, I'd actually like to get some people in their 20s on the show one time and ask them like anything we want to know. You do? Yeah. We need to do that then soon. We already said they want to be on. We need to do that soon. A yeah. group of people who can tell us what certain things mean on social media when mm -hmm. you do them. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's a whole world of stuff out there that we don't even know. Our kids, because Julian does have some 20 year old kids, ours are not quite there yet. Our oldest is 16. And they're really not on social media like that yet. Right, they have right, phones, right. but they're not really on social media yet. And once they get on there, I'm sure we'll know all this because we know everything else of their age group right, right now. Right, you know what I'm saying? right, right. Um, but no, that that's very true because there are things that they say, no, nah, man, you can't do that. And it's like, really? Yeah, why not? You know? So right. so you're right about that. All right, rule number six, no social media conversation after midnight. It's a trap. Definitely. <laughs> I totally agree with that, Woo. Yes. And then rule number seven, uh, you can't friend your boy's ex on social media. Must be 25-year breakup <laughs> rule to be waived. <laughs> that's too much. That's way too much. <laughs> Now, O'Brien says, this conversation could get real messy, laugh out loud. You guys are really good with staying in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know you know how it goes, oh this kind goodness. of thing, man. You're right. Oh, my goodness. We try to keep it reined in. You know what I mean? You, know, you never know. Uh, right. <laughs> I think it might be construed incorrectly publicly. Stay away from liking. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Brian, Brian yes. Are yes, we are trying to call you yes. old. Well, I'm 28, and it's not really any different than what you two are explaining, well, at least to me. Oh, thank you, Ed. So we're okay. not that we're old. Not, yeah, we're not old. You know? <laughs> and then and the Jared talking about a whole different world. I'm with high schoolers and they confuse me daily with social media rules. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure they do. I'm sure. I'm sure about that. So All right, let's, so let's, talk about so what let's go saying. back yes. because thank you for bringing this up earlier. Yeah. I forgot who it was. But but yes, what you post now. So now, okay, you're, you, I mean, what you comment. So Okay, hold on. So, Ambry, this okay. is next. We're talking about DMs next. Yeah, we're talking about All that right. next. So... You, so we're talking we talk like about liking, now we're talking about commenting, and then after that's DMs. Okay, so so commenting, yeah, that is that can be that can really jack you up. Because just like with text messages, you know how sometimes you text somebody and they take it the wrong way? Yes. Because it's not the way you said it. That's it's not even what you were thinking, yes. but the way that it was written, yes. you feel like the person said it in a way that might have been negative and yes. somebody might have taken it the wrong way, yes. right? I think it's the same way with commenting. Do you want to talk about that recent person? Oh, that we're... do you remember when you commented on something? N I Should I do. bring that up? No, nah, because okay. Yeah, we can't bring that up. Okay, it wasn't a bad comment, but yeah. I will just say there was John a com commented. There was a comment that I, there was a comment that I made, and it was it was an inside it was a joke. joke. It was an inside, it was an inside joke. joke, and, and the person the felt like it was that it could be misconstrued, and he was right. It, based on what was happening right then, and based on what I said, I didn't mean that. He understood it. Everybody else that was there understood it. Right. But for a casual outside person, it made it sound like I was saying something nefarious about him and his relationship with his wife. So I actually pulled it down. Yeah. And I said, wow, that that, that was just an example of how yeah. you didn't mean it like that. Right. You know, it, like you said, it was an inside joke. Correct. So, of course, nobody would know what it was about but exactly. him. And it was a joke about him and his wife. So right. it wasn't it was even cool. like... It, it was yeah. not, it right. wasn't bad. Nah, but, 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 but the way it was, the way, somebody else could have read that and be right. like, nah, man. You know so, so, yes. But I, there was I, one more person, though. Yeah, so somebody... <laughs> <laughs> and you don't say their profession. I'm not going to say okay. their profession. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this person comments on a woman who her picture was very nice, and he said something like, ooh, what did he say? You looking... Uh, something like, like looking good and with like some fire emojis. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was something and, like that. Like, oh, looking hot. Something, something like, like that. that. Like looking hot. And, and everybody, was like, knows everybody was like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. And people in the comments were like, yo, 
Yeah, people actually <laughs> right? said something like, no, yo, that. dude. Right. Are you serious? Like, right. you realize what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. And it did not look good for him. I, I don't think he meant it like that. I just think he meant, wow, you're looking really nice, right? Like, I, I, I think what he or like, meant. Or like, you, you, you know how people say... Um, you um like you, you clean mama? up no like you, you clean, clean up, up nice you know you clean up nice okay I didn't like think this was, person doesn't normally I didn't think it was like that you okay. know what I thought it was like you know how you know how there's an old lady at your <laughs> church <laughs> she don't want you. <laughs> you, you you know you know how there's an old lady at your church and she comes to a banquet and she's wearing like something with a cold shoulder or mm -hmm. something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and you go to her and say oh you know and you yeah, say something like me, oh sister. miss oh miss hot mama whatever right right well, you, you wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I would I, do that. You would do that. That is true. <laughs> Let's but, make this clear. But I'm saying, I thought that's what he was doing. But, but, you but it was totally on. inappropriate. You cannot do that. It looked like he was coming for her. You would not go to sister so-and-so and say, you hot mama. I wouldn't. Exactly. You're right. Well, but, anyway. Uh, but I think that's what he was it doing. Just, it, just, it was really bad for him. So, uh, and I don't think he knew that right. it, came, it was going to come across like that. I don't think so either. So I think sometimes... When you comment, you really have to think about that. Like, so then, should I okay, be... Okay, so then what's the etiquette on commenting? All right, so now it sounds like the I don't etiquette... even think you should comment. So so you're saying if you're married <laughs> and this person is of the opposite sex and they are attractive, you can like it if it's somebody we both like. Mm -hmm. You can like it if it's someone who... Say, if they say something in the caption that sounded more than just about mm -hmm. their attractiveness or whatever. Right, right. But, but you should not comment. Well, what what is your comment? Okay, so let me tell you what I did. One of our boys was, you know, he lost some weight. He got his hair cut. I hadn't seen him look that good in a long time. Like, he looked great. So yeah. I just put three fires. Now, that might... Did you know I did that? I, I didn't even know you How did do you that. feel about that? First of all, who was the guy? <laughs> who? Oh, man. Could y'all yeah. hear that? This mic is really good. <laughs> Yeah, he deserved three fires. I'm just saying. And, we, and listen, he is our he is like our brother. So that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, I had no problem with that. Okay. And I don't think but anybody else seeing that. what if it that, was just a guy that I knew from, let's say it was a guy I knew from high school and you didn't really know him like that. You know his name, you know I went to high school with him, I but put you three are, fires. But you already know, I don't care. Yeah. You already know. But I, but so I, what do y'all think? But I like, can is see that somebody, okay? I can see somebody else caring and mm -hmm. I get it. If somebody came to us and said, this is what my husband did, this is what my wife did, I might say, hey, man, you see that this is really bothering so I, her. I would say that I might feel a little something if you commented well, Sheldon on... Sheldon told me I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, Sheldon? <laughs> if you commented on a girl and said something like, I don't know what you could say that would make me be... Exactly. But if you, if you said something like, looking sexy, I, I would have a problem with that. All right. So let, let me give you an example of something that happened when we were dating that... I didn't mean to do that if I did online, then I think it would bother April. We were watching a movie back in the day. It I don't was, even remember this. You remember, as soon okay. as I say what the movie is. The movie was, um, I can't remember the name of the movie See, now. You need to you need to answer her question. Y'all, 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 what could April do and you would feel some type of way, John? Yeah, right. That, yeah. That's um, what I want to know. First, tell this story. Okay, so <laughs> it would have to be something like this, I think. So we were watching a movie, uh, Jennifer Lopez and um, and George Clooney. What's that movie called? Yeah, whatever. Out of Go sight. On. Oh yes, yes, yes. It's yes. so way back in the '90s. Yeah. We were still dating, and Jennifer Lopez came on the screen, mm -hmm. and I made a sound effect when she came on the you screen. You did. Yeah, and April was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me, and, and I. I, I I didn't, you know, but that, I never did that again. Yeah. Like ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, so to me, I feel like I would have to do something like that online for you to feel like if you if you said to a guy that that I don't know, mm -hmm. who okay, let, let me I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now what would bother me. This is the only thing I can think of. Okay, I want to hear it. If there's a guy that looked like me, uh, thin, tall, my complexion you know, big nose, whatever, and she made a comment about him looking good, that would bother me. Really? Yes. I've done that before. You've never done that before. What do you mean? Somebody somebody that looks like me. Like, like, like if I looked at them, I would say, wow, that's her type. You mm. see what I'm saying? Like, I, I, think, I think part of the reason why I don't get bothered, and maybe it's not true, a part of the reason why things don't usually bother me with that 
I'm fully secure in how you feel about me. But most of the time, you don't really, you know, there are, t okay, remember, remember that time when there was somebody that we knew and you said, this is a person I had a crush on when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And this person was around us now and we're adults. Mm -hmm. And you said, I kept blushing. Yeah, yeah, Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That actually made me laugh. I wasn't. Of course you know, it should. Yeah. My my point though is stuff like that where it's like reflexive. <laughs> you couldn't even do that. You know what I'm saying? This is getting ugly. <laughs> you see know what I'm saying? Not not a body double per se, Julian, but just somebody who who had features that were similar to mine, where it was like, okay, this is obviously April's. But type. there are some actors that people say have similar features, and I say that they're cute. Yeah, but you don't like you don't lose it or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. really don't know. Okay, I don't right. know what you. Let's can do, let's go. You know what, what is Chris talking about up there? Okay, Chris says I'm a little skeptical of dudes who friend my wife, but not me. Ah, nah, bro. That's 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 now, a good Chris, one. Now, Chris, I don't even be noticing when that happens. John like, I don't, don't even know. be looking at that. <laughs> I don't even be looking. I don't at know it. who friends able and not me. Now I I know there's a lot of dudes out there that do that though because there's this one dude though that he got really. Now that was when we were dating. No, we had just gotten married, or about to get married, and one of my friends said something like, "Yo, don't be." He said something like, "Don't let him hurt you" or something like that. So it wasn't like you were jealous of him. You know, it wasn't like that. But you I just, got irritated I, with the fact that this dude is... I always got irritated with guys trying to come at me and they don't even know me. Right. So it wasn't about... I'm saying it wasn't about... You better not hurt her and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about I'm here with popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so what's... We'll say, number, rule number eight. I want to see his number eight. Rule number eight. Never admit what, what your type <laughs> is. Why Why not? Hey, you Listen, should... I know John's type. He love him a Latino girl. I mean, I dated Latino girls before I dated exactly. you. Exactly. He that's, loves telling me that. You're my type. Hey, he loves telling me he dated Latino girls. But you are my type. Aww. And you know that. I do know that. <laughs> I'm not watching, but she asked me about them. Oh, I see. So he doesn't know. Okay, so Chris doesn't know oh. that these guys. So what happens is the, 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 the friend request comes to his wife. Mm -hmm. She says, hey, Chris, you know this guy? He's trying uh. to friend me. And Chris is like, wait a minute, that dude's not even my friend. Chris, okay, I have Chris, done that I before, that. and John don't even say nothing. He be like, nah, I don't know that dude, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, well, should I friend him? And John's like, yeah, whatever, who cares? You know what, this guy over here. <laughs> See, Edgar knows it. You're, I'm, you're, you're my type all the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he says he smiles a little with Latino girls, though. <laughs> <laughs> And Kobe did date Latino. That is true. That's a good one. What up, Kevin? <laughs> what up, Kev? What's the deal, man. Okay, so oh so goodness. Am says a friend request from married men I don't know is sus. Mm. It's like shooting your shot these days. You think so, Am? A friend request from married men. I mean, you know, really though? You know, but this is the thing. You really don't know somebody's motives. Nah, you usually do, babe. Especially especially online. But what I'm saying is. Am, you must mean you must mean a friend request from a married man who doesn't know you, right? I mean, it's got to be that. Yeah, it can, and, and it you know, seriously, I have gotten that multiple times, and I just don't accept it because I don't know you. Right. You know, I'm like, I don't know you. <laughs> Elaine like says so to Sheldon. Exactly, <laughs> Elaine. They be acting all. That's what I say. J Lo is his, he can have J Lo as his girlfriend. I'm all right with that. Whatever, cause, man. Because I love J Lo. I do too. She's cool, but exactly. I mean, it's not like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It used to be though. Back in the day, but it not now. It used to be. It but men be. get the same way when they when they wife see a fine dude in a movie, <laughs> and, and they, they be like, like yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, what about those couples that have joint accounts? Is that too far? Laugh out loud. I think that's weird. So you know. What do you mean? Okay, so she's you mean asking. That are dating? No, she's okay. talking about married couples who have like joint Facebook accounts where it'll oh. say it'll say you know John and April Nixon or something like that. Now, yeah. now we have a, a joint one for our business. Right. We have a joint. We have a joint Instagram one too, but we also have separates. I don't think that's necessary, but some couples may feel that it's necessary. Some couples may feel like I need to see everything you're doing on social media in order yeah. to feel comfortable. Uh, you know, and if I, the, I have listen, to agree April, with you. If there was some issues in our past. Where yes. we dealt with something. So, I, so that would depend that. on the couple. That's true. Because it could be that there was some infidelity there or there was something that happened. Yeah. And you feel like that's what y'all need to do in order to work it out. Hey, exactly. Go ahead. Yeah. So you I know? get that. Yes. Sheldon said, yes, 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 indeed. I thought Elaine was from Dominican Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine. How are you going to do Elaine, Elaine like that, man? He is your a wife mess. is from Ghana and she is beautiful. Exactly. And she is your type. He, he knows that. Stop saying, stop that. saying Latino's your type, man. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> 
I never think anyone is hollering about sending a friend request. SDAs think they can be friends with anyone they you went to Oshkosh with. <laughs> See, but Saba, you're in a different category because everybody's trying to be, you know, friends with the head elder of Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's that different. That is true. That is different. So yeah, you're going to get friend requests from pretty much everybody in that situation. Mm -hmm. and, and I get that. And you are right. I think there is a thing if you if you went to the same, you know, campery or whatever. I mean, seriously, you know what I'm saying? I go ahead and say yes to most friend requ request. Well, I can't Requests. say the word. Yes. When it's like you got 500 friends that are the same. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I'd be like, okay, okay. this person yeah. must be all right. Right. You know? But some of them, I mean, if you have 500 friends that are the same, you should know who they are a little bit, right? right? I right, mean, what right, in the world? Right, right. Oh, gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine. He's not did right. you Did you know that, Elaine? Did you know that? I mean, I mean he just made that up his now. <laughs> so he said, Egg said, dudes be, be messaging uh, and calling Saba at any hour of the day. Right, that's what I'm thinking. I believe that. Yeah. I to, believe that. They're trying to get their, you know, stuff on the agenda and for the next Saba's business meeting. And Saba's fine. You know so, you know, folks got, <laughs> they got some, you know. Are they trying to spit game though, Saba? I mean, or, or you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Cynthia said, I had social media before I got married. Right. So you're not trying to be doing no joint accounts is what oh, you're saying. Oh, I see. Yes. And I, and I agree. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but again, I agree with you. If there are some issues there and that needs to happen, right. then, you see, know. See, Saba said her would kind of change her friend request game altogether. I agree. I believe. Okay. I we need to talk about that. DMs now, babe. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you are the elder to, uh, you know, 11,000 people. Exactly. So you don't get that stuff all the time. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Saba is my type. Go back and read the tape. Okay. So, <laughs> DMs. Now. DMs, okay, let me let me just say a pet peeve I have of mine. I'm gonna just say it right now. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when someone DMs me to ask me to do something for them official. Because I don't check my DMs like right. ever. In fact, right. in my Instagram, I don't have DMs like turned on to notify me. Mm -hmm. I'll get a DM and not see it for three or four weeks. And mm -hmm. sometimes it'll be like some I guess this is the only people who can contact me, but somebody asked me to speak for something at some school one time, and it was like by the time I saw it, it was a month. Uh, and I'm like, why are you DMing me? Like, right. what? my I, email I address is that. on my website of my church. You can easily find. So, so I don't get that. I don't right, understand it. Right. So for me, just as just personal, for me, DMs seem to me like they're exclusively for trying to get with somebody. That's that's how I feel. So 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 for no. me, if somebody's DMing me and it's a girl and she looks good, I delete it because it's usually some kind of suspect thing. I, right. I, that's normally what right. I think because. Ain't nobody trying to get but at me. I'm saying except, if somebody's asking you, like, or, you know, like, I've gotten DMs. Except in that like, situation where the person's asking have, you for business, I, you know what I'm saying? I, now, you're, I did get a DM from a friend from way back, and he was like, hey, April, what's up? Yeah. You know, and I was like, hey, like, how you doing? And as we continue to talk, it started going down a road. I was like, oops. Like, okay, this is not what I thought it was. I thought it was reconnecting. Like, hey, so, how's so, it going? So, so he was using DM, DMs exactly the way I'm saying right, right now. Yeah. So, so Egg Wu says DMs are emailed to people below thirty. That may be true, but I and, ain't below and, thirty. No, but I, but <laughs> and I'm married, and I've been married for twenty years. You're below thirty. I ain't below thirty. Oh, and I've been right. married for twenty years, so but, I don't. But really I would DM say like Wu, that. though, you're right because I've gotten also a bunch of DMs that are requests, like people asking, "Hey, will you, you know, sing for this thing? Yeah, next sing month for this or thing like or." Or somebody, yeah, somebody just DM asking me and the girls to sing for something, and so are you, you saying know, I, are you saying I need to turn my notifications on? No. Okay then. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's not always that. I'm saying it's not it's not it's not for that. I'm saying I I, I mentioned that guy because I'm saying that's what that's what he did, mm -hmm. but most of the time mm -hmm. it's not even like that. Okay, you so 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 this is what well for me. I mean, if you're single, that could be a totally different. Yes, thing. If yes. you're single, that's a totally different. So thing. so so now the question is etiquette, right? So what do you do? And Miss Claxton, that is uh, Naomi says, when I got those convos, I tell my husband ASAP. So do I. So and, do I, I. and I tell my wife. Exactly. If something suspect comes through, I'll be I like, man, I'll be like, look at yep. this. I just handed the phone. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And sometimes I let, I let her respond. Now let me go up to Horace, because Horace, you are so right. We didn't even talk about that. What? Don't use hearts to, to, to <laughs> like pics. And I, I have to agree just, with you just on like that. Just like it regular, just like don't it. heart it. Because if you heart it, then you're like, whoa, why, you love that pic? I hearted. That's a totally different I thing. I hearted something today. From a woman that a woman posted. And what you? What was it? I can't remember. You need to go back. I need to go back and show you. I can't remember. <laughs> it, it, it'll it probably come up in your thing. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it, it. I don't even notice. 
that you are harding. Right. I'm not that pressed to even go back and look to see what you did. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Horace says the only DMs he gets are scammers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting. I'm that not getting too. DMs like that except for the occasional person. Yeah, and I'm, that, that I, I wants cannot to do some stand the DMs when you're sending me these things like, "You are." I'm sorry if somebody's done this. No offense, but what? Uh, you know, you are a beautiful woman. Uh, you know, you you are a. You know these. Oh, these, oh, like, the long things. You, these long to send things. Right. If, if you're really my to, friend, send this to oh 12 more people. So like, you hate that. Those are the <laughs> things that are on there. <laughs> Jared just said my phone died, so I don't even know if y'all addressed it. But regarding comments, even as a single man, I keep the comments neutral. Like, look at you, sis. You killing it. Killing it, niece. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. great. And and Jared, we actually asked you a specific question. Uh, did he ever answer? Oh, he no. did. He did. did he? he did. Oh, yeah. He answered. He answered. Horace, he answered. I thought Horace would be a top fan too. Horace oh, is oh, a top, top fan. Oh, I thought Horace was a Latino girl. Oh, right it was here. a Latino girl. That's what he said. Oh, I, it was I, a Latino. It. <laughs> it was a Latino. Right, Horace. Yeah. I, fi I figured Horace would be a top fan too. We said that at the beginning. Yeah, we said that at the beginning. He just wasn't on yet, so he, you couldn't check. Look, she talked about April said delete that. <laughs> <laughs> April, can you sing for the women's ministry Sunday morning, man? Oh. She has you right now on here. <laughs> Nah, girl. Uh, but Wu gets lit up on LinkedIn Messenger all the time, and I think it's totally different uh, than DMs or IG and Facebook. They are social media lanes. You just have to be wise. I agree. Yeah. To me, LinkedIn feels so businessy mm -hmm. that I don't care what happens on LinkedIn. It could be any part of the thing that's using. It don't matter. In right, my opinion, that right. should be totally fine. So Kay Williams said, DMs are used a lot for the younger generation. And that's true. Yeah. That, that, is, that is true. true. Now, I, okay, so there's this dude. I saw this thing online the other day it was this camera bag where you can like flip it off of your shoulder and pull your camera out real quick and there's mm -hmm. a guy that i know sean he comes on here sometimes yeah um I, I i dm'd him immediately and sent it to him and he responded now he's in his 30s he's the type of dude that is in his dms all the time right. i guess what i'm saying is i don't think people in our generation dm like that unless they're trying to get at somebody that's what I'm know, saying. No, babe. I don't agree with you on that. Because I have a lot of friends. Who here? I, Hold let on. Me tell you Who something. here as soon is going to out themselves? You, as soon as I get on my DM or something like that, and I, if I let's say that I want to contact somebody. Rarely do I, but let's say I do. When I say I get instant, immediate response, yeah. I'm like, what? They, you just sitting already, there waiting? They were, they were in Instagram already. Yes. That's I'm saying that. Yeah. I think you're just All not. Right, so I'll start using it. I'm telling you. I'm going to start you. DMing this week. <laughs> <laughs> Shella said, I come on social media for just John and April, and that's my weekly social media. That's it. And they said, no lie. You can check. I believe you. How can we check, Sheldon? I don't I know if I can check that. Because he ain't on there. The streets say saying LinkedIn. LinkedIn is becoming a new way to shoot your shot, too. Really? Really? Come on, man. Any way. Any way you can get in there. Come on. You know? Any way you can get in there. All right, Keisha. Uh, I guess social media has always had these rules of liking. Reminds me of MySpace era of putting certain people as your top. Mm -hmm. So complicated, laugh out loud. But uh, we do have to be careful. Eyes are watching, single or married. That true, is true. People true. are looking. Uh, typically, DM is for people whose number I don't have. Okay. Yeah, and that's why okay. I've used it because, yeah. Yeah. you know. I feel that. And, and that's usually when somebody's trying to hit me officially for something. But the rest of the DMs I get, they're all suspect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not necessarily. My sis, for some reason, DMs me instead of texting. Okay. But how old is your sister? I, I guess you're saying she's not in her 30s or young or nothing like that. So that, yeah. I mean, it might be convenient. Maybe because you're at work and you can just, you know, your your text message is not connected to your computer. Like mine is. So I'm always, right. I'm able to just text back or whatever. Right, right. But if you're at work, you can get social media. You can just, you know. Who said he met Saba and DM'd her when he got home. Been married almost 12 years. DM, <laughs> DM is powerful. powerful. I'm pretty Listen, sure you could have got I think you should use DM if you're trying to find somebody. Like, yeah, I don't see nothing I, wrong I don't with that either. You just got to do it right. You I'm can't asking be now with if it. you are you married, can't. what is the rule on DMing? That's what I want to know. And nobody said it yet. What's the rule? You married, what is your rule and what should be the rule for whether or not you DM people? You don't people? need to be DMing a woman about just having a regular conversation. Like, I guess. Like, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> she said, I don't this know. is true. Wu did slide into my high five DMs. <laughs> <laughs> high five. Lord have oh mercy. Oh my goodness. That's so hilarious, man. I agree. And uh, an ex DM'd me on LinkedIn to say he was in town. Mm. So, yep, it happens. Wow. Mm -hmm. Showed I say immediately because I don't trust. Exactly. So that's what I'm talking about, Tony. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's what you need to be doing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's the way to go. Wow. So, so I say, well, I say might not be on here. What'd you do? You know what I'm I want to know what his response was when you showed it to him. Like, did you say, hey, babe, look at this dude trying to get at me? And I was like, man, please. Did he laugh? Did he like, you know, so call the dude? You know what I'm saying? If, 
If you trust your man or your woman, it's not going to be a big deal. You're going to laugh at it and move on. But I'm True. saying if there's trust issues, right. all of these things can be huge. I agree. Okay. So Brian says bottom line is there are too many variables. You got to talk about it and make some ground rules. So, so Brian is saying, which is what I was asking earlier, do we need ground rules when it comes to social media? And I guess that, that changes depending on the situation, depending on the couple. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm hearing. But Brian seems to be saying, you know. So Am is saying the rule, show all sus DMs. I think that should be the rule too. Yeah. Like all sus stuff, period. Yeah. I'm always showing John the sus stuff. Same for him. Right. Same like with that's me. just that's what true. we do. Yeah, that's true. You know? So or oh, Horace says she's 40. Okay. Okay. So she's basically our age. Many folks, regardless of age, genuinely DM you just to check in. You can usually tell in the phrasing of the first message where the combo was heading. Now, is that true? O'Brien, oh, sometimes that's true, but April's saying the other day she got got. Her first first couple sentences with this guy that was DMing her that she hadn't talked to in a long time was kind of cool. And then all of a sudden, she said it started like turning. But I will say, though, I will say when he said, hey, what's up? I was hesitant about responding. Hmm. I was. But I was like, I haven't seen him in, a long, seen him in a long time. Yeah. Maybe he's just, you know, whatever. And yeah. I was like, hey, how you doing? And it really did go downhill, like, <laughs> like quick. quick. I was, I was, so, so I just so didn't what you respond. Do? You just stopped responding? Yeah, I just didn't respond anymore. Huh. Now, you told me about that, but you didn't show it to me. I never saw it, but right, you told me about it. I just told you about it. it, but I never said, uh, look, you need to stop. Now, I had somebody text me that went way off where I had to be like, okay, this is too much. Like, I had right. to actually say, right. you're going too far. Right. Matter of fact, I, <laughs> I actually responded with a, because he said something, like, really sus. Right. And I just responded with a... <laughs> <laughs> Emoji. And then that was it, y'all. He didn't respond, I didn't respond. That was it. Oh my goodness. So, man. you know. She showed me that one. <laughs> I did show him that one. So, uh, Julie said, some people's DMs look like an AAU game. Shoots from all over, half court, <laughs> behind the backboard. <laughs> and what was that game we used to play back in the day? The NBA Jam? That's what <laughs> He's heating up. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a DM rule. I can't have a rule per medium. It's trust or nothing. And, and that's how we are. That's how we are. It's we don't like, have no rules. Yeah, you know we don't have any rules. You, you just need to know. Tony said he's like you. He laughed. I, yeah. I, sorry, Tony. I should have just predicted. I should have just said, you know I know left. what I say did. Exactly. I just wanted to know. <laughs> um, Ed told me, I'm not DMing nobody. I'll hit your comments up, though. Yeah. I don't even want to give off the vibe that my wife and I am DMing other women in private. Yeah. My wife needs to see everything. Yeah. No, I, seriously. I don't I don't think you should be DMing mm -hmm. women on... You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you... Not unless, but I don't know. You just have to talk to, you have to tell your wife what you're doing. What's that? I'm texting John to tell him they can come up. Oh. <laughs> John texted me at like 9.15 to ask me if he can come upstairs. <laughs> okay, rule time. number nine. DM are acceptable before nine on Facebook. Always on LinkedIn, never on IG. <laughs> that, that's the rule? Okay. No, no this All is right, funny though. Rule. It's hilarious because your wife just said there are no rules and it's trust or nothing. Exactly. So are these your rules or rules you just make it up as you go along? All right, Naomi Ooh. said, had an ex contact me to complain about his wife. Whoa. Whoa. Bae, Whoa. we have to talk about that. Yes. Went back and forth. For uh, days. For days, Will, Will talking about my husband. Talking, oh, and he got blatant about wanting to see me when I visited wow. Atlanta. I declined and told him we would pray for the marriage, never message back. <laughs> see, yeah. See, this is this. But see, when you shut that thing down right away, this is a little tough yes. for me. Mm -hmm. This is tough for me because of the profession I'm in. So there are times when, when women ask me questions that I think if they asked anybody else, I would say, you shouldn't ask a married man that. That's true, but you let me know right away. I do. Yeah. But but when they ask me, sometimes they have this thinly veiled, I'm coming to you as my pastor kind of mm -hmm. thing. And I, I usually run it by April because I say, you know, I'm not sure about this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes mm -hmm. she'll be like, oh, no, nah, that woman, she's exactly. being suspect. And I'm, I'm usually right. You always I'm right. I'm usually right on that. You're always right. You yeah. have been always right pretty much. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up isn't a good one. Okay, so he's saying, O'Brien saying you should have known from the yes, beginning, yes, from the I, first line when he said, right. hey, what's up? And you're right, and I was like, <laughs> mm, maybe I shouldn't respond to this, but I did because the person was like, from when we were like little kids at camp meet. Right. You know, so right, I was like, right. wow, I hadn't seen yeah, him yeah, talking, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a good idea, though. Jared talking about it seems that married folks be getting more DMs than single <laughs> folks. That might be true, No, Jared. let me tell you. That might be true. Especially women with men. Like, Let me tell you what happens, though, Jared. What happens is, I think you become more attractive to women once you have a woman. It's true. 
I actually think a woman I, sees you as someone that can I that, that where women so. like now. It is true. For you know some women who are like that. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sounds is about to go downhill. Hey, hey what's, what's up? up? Hey, you, <laughs> you, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true, Shell. I know now. Um, Kevin said, I think a great relationship needs not to create rules and boundaries on what the other can and cannot do. If the trust is not there, then what you got, then what you got. That's true. So, yeah. so I think the rules sometimes are necessary when you're trying to rebuild trust. Mm -hmm. And I think they're sometimes, right. I think that's what I'm saying. And I think too. they're also necessary in situations where you have had accountability issues before. Yes. So, yes. so for instance, if you have struggled with something in your past and you and your spouse know about it, then maybe when you decide to use this medium, because it's so closely related to this other thing you used to struggle with, yeah, yeah, it yeah, might yeah. be a good idea to say, here are the ground rules so that I don't end up here. Exactly. That doesn't mean you don't trust them. It just means let's set up some accountability beforehand yeah. just to make sure. You know what so I'm saying? So I think it depends on the relationship. Yeah. I don't think you should talk about your spouse to anyone negatively. I agree. I agree. But yeah, that, 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 is no a, that is a rule right there. So Egg was saying this is the Ten Commandments of Social Media. Are you, are you, are you saying that this is your Ten Commandments of Social Media? Because I haven't seen number 10 I haven't 10 seen still. number 10. I've seen number 9 up yeah, to Yeah, I there. didn't see number 10. I'm saying? So we're, we're not getting off of here tonight until <laughs> you give us number 10. We'll talk about some name names. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to my husband about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we figured it out with the, uh, you know. Uh... Camila says, Woo, you go ahead and make that ebook. Yeah, yeah, we need that joint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my oh man. Okay, Maybe. so <laughs> church exactly. member came at me sus, wanted counseling. I gave her an appointment and had Shalita in the office when she showed up. She left in five minutes. That's what I'm talking and about. Let Primo. me tell you. Primo, I Primo. love the ambush, son. That's yes, what you because do. that happened with us. This lady, Call her bluff, son. This this lady did the same thing with John. Yep. She did this whole thing. Guys, I responded to the the, uh, she was message. she was text messaging me, and then she called. But did she call one time and you answered the phone or something like that too? Yes, I think it was something, something like, like that. that. It, we we, just, we it was we set it up. It was great. It was it was, it was amazing. And, and like you said, after that it was like no, no more, more no more contact. That exactly. was it. Yeah. Uh, you had a guy slide into your DMs from childhood camp meeting. Wow. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, she didn't know you were sliding though. I didn't know. She just I thought he was. You know what I'm saying? And what up, Michael? <laughs> but you know, April looked good, man. I did not know. And listen, like, man, I was like, she looked I, good at camp meeting, but now it's like, woo! You know what I'm saying? I, I literally, I felt like I was bamboozled, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should have known. Better, he used though. them camp meeting days. You should have known. So my question is, who won? That's the, that's the real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rules number ten: Don't reply to DMs starting with what? What's up? Uh, right, right. Only thing negative I want a man to say about his wife should be about a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Saba, Saba, oh, so I gotta put that one up. Childhood friends can really be disrespectful. It's true. Those childhood friends will come back and you think and they want to just connect. Right. And, and they then don't. you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. All right. So we need to know who won tonight. Team John, I Team April. I won the last like three. That's not true. Just the last two. Okay. <laughs> now, now I will say that you need to Thank use. Thank you, Tony. It's my girl. Uh, April all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tony, that's not right, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so basically, uh, if you want to use, I think it's a thumb, a blue thumbs thumb up, up for John, for me. heart for me. Yes, I'm and glad. A laughy I'm, face for us both. Yes. Rule number ten. I'm glad we came with rule number ten because we wouldn't get off till you gave it to us. Never have any conversation in DMs that wouldn't make it on Facetime. Make it to Facetime. That wouldn't make it to Facetime. Okay, so you're saying if I wouldn't have a Facetime conversation about this, don't have it in DMs. Oh, okay, okay. Madeline said, Team John and April. Okay. Yeah, give, give us them reactions, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Chime in like you normally do. Yeah, team Elaine. April, Elaine. Yeah, Jocelyn. Jocelyn's team April. Yay. In the spirit of Latinas <laughs> everywhere, Team Juan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jared said, honestly, I can't call it. This is a good conversation. That's all right, Jared. I, I know team why. Works. But it's because your phone died. If your phone was on during that time, you would have heard something, man. It would have made you team job. But that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Team April, Cynthia, Team April. I think it's just more people of yours on here tonight, though. You know what I'm saying? You, That's you, really you can Adrian say that. Townsend, you can say Team that. April. Hey, Adrian. You know what, what up, A? <laughs> That's hilarious, man. I got you, Team John. Thank you, David. That's what I'm talking about. I need somebody under support. All right, David. Me. All right. Philip Betty, Team John and April. Thank you, Philip. Danielle gave a heart, so she was clear. I'm Team, you know what I'm saying? Love team this, y'all. <laughs> y'all are so relatable. Thank you very much, Daria. Or some of my team Latinos. <laughs> Where? <laughs> uh, that might be that might be Diara. T tell me what your name is. Is it Diara? I said Diara. Or Diara. Or Diara. That's a good. 
I don't know which one I got right, but anyway. Denise. Denise talking about Team April. Yay! Kevin talking about I love you both, but I think he's saying Team Team John. He said Shara John. I don't yes, know I think that's team what John. he means. You know what I'm saying? Team John, since I said Team April the last three times. Edgar said he rides for his point guards. So, okay, you know I'll give you that, O'Brien. I won't, I won't, you know. <laughs> that's hilarious. Team John, what if my one vote mattered? It matters. It matters. <laughs> Definitely. Team Abra, because I don't want to be seen as Team John given all these social media rules. Ha! Huh? I didn't give a bunch of rules. That was your husband. That was your husband, but your husband is John. Oh, 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 oh. She's saying because oh. we was giving all this team rules, all them rules, good, she don't want good. to be that I'm makes glad. sense. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Team John. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Kevin. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Brian's Team John, too. Brian, you gave a really big comment at the beginning. You said you had like honey do list stuff to do. Did you? Is that what Did happened? Did you get that done? And we were talking about Juan. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna go back and watch last week's streak. Yeah, man, get y'all back. Yeah, and you watch gotta it. go back. And yeah, y'all, you do definitely still have time to, to um to share this, so you can go ahead and share this post right now, and get it in that your really timeline. That really helps us out, guys. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it when definitely you share does. So do that. Stuff, so. Horace, Team John. Thank you, Horace. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm not man. mad at you, Horace. I'm going Team John on faith since I was working on the one. I, I knew you weren't. I knew you weren't listening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but but Brian, you did the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I think I won tonight, though. I don't think so. If you, you won, you won so? by like one or two. You know what I'm saying? It was well, very. It was a, very close. That's still a win. That's, that's still a win. It was close though. Hey, we'll see y'all Friday. We're gonna do our post, uh, our normal podcast on YouTube. It'll be out Friday afternoon, and then uh, we'll be back here again next Wednesday. We'll be yeah. on time this time though. We ain't closing on no houses or nothing. <laughs> 